Okay, I wanted to do this video on JT does, that JT does, Jacob Thompson, and how Jacob Thompson is just a pride, prideful, arrogant little Brian Dillinger idolater, and how he doesn't like it when somebody kicks his idol, Brian Dillinger. This is something I've actually been trying to hold back for a while, doing any videos on this, uh, this, this prideful little child, J, JT does, and why do you call him a child? Well, first of all, I'm 20 years old, and he's not much older than I am, from what I last heard. And guys like him have no business trying to preach and teach. You know, this, I've always said that JT does is an example, Jacob Thompson, he's an example of what happens when his younger kids try to get into full-time ministry and try to be full-time preachers and teachers. They get prideful and arrogant and they won't take any correction. And what JT does, his situation is he's just an idolater, Brian Dillinger, and he can't stand it when somebody speaks against his God. And like with a lot of these young kids that try to get into ministry, you know, they just don't take any kind of correction and they just blow up at you and get mad when you try to correct them. I've seen that. I've heard about that with uh, JT as well. When Tim tried to correct him over some relationship he was with about two years ago, JT, JT just blew up on Tim. I mean, it was uh, insane, you know. Anyway, the bottom line is, is that, you know, and people will say to you, well, don't you make videos? Yeah, but I don't preach and teach. The videos I make are like like 10 to 15 minutes, like 15 minutes at, at like maximum. And they're very like just basic stuff. They're not like deep doctrinal long sermons like Brian or, or Ruckman or anyone else would do. But JT does, all he, and by the way, all he does is just copy stuff that Brian does. I actually have his book, uh, The Lord of Glory, and he's just copying things that Ruckman has in his reference Bible. I mean, I know because I have Ruckman's reference Bible, and he's just copying things, like almost word for word. So yeah, JT does is um, a little arrogant, prideful uh, jerk, essentially. We're going to show this interesting clip of him where he's going off. And again, I don't, you know, obviously I don't know enough about Philip Newton to really say yes or no, or, or yes, I endorse him, or no, I don't uh, support him. But you got JT going off on Philip Newton because Philip Newton corrected, you know, attempted to correct his idol, Brian Dillinger. And of course, JT doesn't like that. So watch this. And he, he just repeats a typical lie and just showing how he's a respecter of persons towards Brian. Okay, let's, let's watch this. And recently, this whole thing has gone off the deep end. Um, again, he's broken. Him and Brian have broken company. And he, in his whole ministry now, I've been watching some of Phil's videos. It, it's just turned into this whole thing. It's just every video now is basically like all the other people that have left and you know left Brian's ministry and even, even with me have broken fellowship. But now their whole ministry turns into this, and that's what's turned into now. Phil, all of his videos. You know, Phil basically has just been coming out against Brian, and he's been basically doing this for years. Really, See, this is the common lie they like to use. Oh, they're just stabbing us in the back. They're just, they're just coming out and attacking us. No, the the videos Phil made were trying to correct Brian Dillinger over his defense of the satanic Illuminati Jesuit Catholic High Day of Christmas. But of course, you and Brian, you JT, and of course Brian are just too arrogant and prideful and high-minded and haughty, and have a, too much of a haughty spirit to take any kind of correction. So you have to cry, "Oh, they're persecuting us! They're attacking us!" You know, how about you actually take time to actually watch, not just answer the matter before you hear, like it talks about in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 13 how about you actually take time to watch these videos and look at the scripture so that it goes over because you have no scriptural basis for christmas absolutely not you can't take a pagan holiday and christianize it and just say oh it's liberty but that's a side issue i've done videos i've done a lot of my own videos proving the catholic origins of christmas the pagan origins of christmas and if brian is going to be so much against the roman catholic church as he rightfully should they are a satanic babylonian cult he should be against christmas because that is you know i showed in my videos jesuits and catholics defending Christmas thing, defending Christmas trees. So, and it's amazing too how, how just how similar to the Catholic Church Brian's little cult behaves. But the bottom line is, is that JT is just triggered that Philip Newton is kicking his God. How about you actually just watch the videos he made and look at the scriptures and arguments he used instead of just answering them out before you hear it, like most of Brian Dillinger's followers like doing when someone kicks their idol, Brian. We're going to show some scripture that really ties into this and describes both JT, Brian, and most of his wicked followers who just emulate Brian and are respecters of persons towards Brian. John chapter three, verses 19 through 21. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God. Okay, the thing about Brian and JT is that they don't like having their their works of darkness, their evil deeds reproved. You see, this is what they like doing. They love to point out everybody else's sin all day long. They love to point out, you know, sins of, of you know playing violent video games. They love to point out the sins of watching wicked Hollywood movies. But whenever it comes to their wickedness, and you point out you point out their wickedness, they don't like that. They they say, oh, you're attacking me, you're stabbing me in the back. 
you know, I encourage any of you, you Brian Dillinger followers to just tell Brian, hey, you're wrong. You're in wickedness. You're in sin on something. And watch how Brian will just won't take any correction. Because as much as they love pointing out everybody else's sin, they hate having their own sin and their own works of darkness called out. Like we read in John chapter 3, verses 19 through 21. They don't like having the works of darkness made manifest. And this prideful, arrogant little jerk here, uh, Jacob Thompson, who is not in any way qualified to be in any kind of preaching or teaching ministry, is displaying, he's just manifesting first John or John chapter 3, verses 19 through 21. He doesn't like having his idol kicked. He's a respecter of persons toward Brian. That simple. So don't be deceived. Mark and avoid this Brian Dillinger cult. They are very toxic for the, you know, they're very toxic. I'll just put it that way. Uh, do I think Brian is lost? I don't know. I'm not going to say yes or no. Do I think JT is lost? I don't know. I'm not going to say yes or no. You see, I'm not like them. I'm not, I'm not just going to go around calling everybody lost who doesn't who doesn't agree with me, like what they do. So anyway, don't be deceived. Mark and avoid this cult. They may very well they may very well be saved, but they're in blatant sin and blatant pride, and they are to be marked and avoided till they repent. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.